All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. And in this one, we'll be setting up the state tree for the bench. So to get started, we're gonna add a state underneath here. I've already added one, but under that state, we're going to add a task. And we are going to use the find slot entrance location. Now this will not pass a success after it's done. And so we need a, another one down here to make use of this slot entrance. And so it requires a reference slot input. Uh, and this is for the smart object sl slot handle. And so under the smart object slot claimed handle, select the slot handle. Do not select the one from the slot entrance handle because that will not work. It needs the one from the claim handle. So this is going to out output two things. Entrance tags, uh, the gameplay tag container uh, for, for the entrance tag. So if we come over here, uh, these tags right here, that's what it's going to output. It's going to output that and I'm on the wrong one. And it's going to output the entry transform. So we're going to make use of that. But we need to create, now if you're in 5.4 and you're looking over this, then, um, well for one, if you're in 5.4 preview, the find slot entrance location is currently broken. Uh, but if you're in uh, 5.4 and it and they fixed that by now, then you should have a underneath this somewhere in here. You should already have a move to. I think there will be an NPC category or something like that AI category, and underneath it there'll be a move to. But right now there isn't, so we're gonna have to make our own. Uh, before I continue though, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of this stuff. You can uh, move your mouse cursor over these to read what they're about. But the selection method, we have two of these. Um, if we if we select first, it'll just return the first one it finds. If we select nearest to search location, it'll return the nearest one. <clears throat> In this case, uh, it doesn't really matter. And the reason why is because that um, that reference slot that we gave it is the slot to the claim handle. That's the claim handle of the slot. And so it's going to find the entrance for that slot. But if you have multiple entrances for this slot, which you can, if you add, you can have as many entrances as you want. And if you do, then you might actually want to make use of that. And you might actually want to uh, look for the closest one. So I just wanted to point that out. That's why we have two options here. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, set this to nearest to search location, just to future proof this. But moving on, under, I mean, we could add this task under the bench uh, state tree, but I'm actually just going to add it under this uh, smart objects folder here. So just like before, state tree task. And this one will be, uh, actually this doesn't need to be a smart object. Uh, I'm going to make a new folder for this called movement. Yeah, just something like that. 
So we'll open it up and I'm actually going to make this a capital. If you make it a capital, Unreal will automatically add spaces for it whenever it displays it inside of there. So that's the reason why I did that. I'm going to con uh, control C that or shift right mouse button that. And I'm going to actually put this under uh, AI movement. I'm going to capitalize that I actually. Same thing, interstate. Under the variable, we're going to make this an actor. And it's going to be a context actor. And we're going to put it under context. And so as I told you before, under the bench one, the context actor class is the actor reference for the actor that is trying to interact with it. And that's the reason why I made this an actor actor class under context. If you need access to the actual smart object uh, blueprint, then you would um, name it smart object actor class or smart object actor. So if you name a smart object actor and it's an actor type and it's under the context category, then it'll automatically bind to this one right here. If it's called actor, it'll automatically bind to this one. Uh, same thing with the rest of these as well. The Both the name and the reference or the variable type have to match and it has to be under context. So without all that out of the way, we're just going to do a move to move to location or actor. And this takes in a controller. And so I'm going to get the get the AI controller off of this. And so the way that this works is you can just uh, promote these to variables. I'll explain how it works. So also you have more stuff here if you need. So if this actor reference is empty, if it's null, if it's not pointing to anything, then it will automatically move the player to this location. If this location hasn't been set either, then its default value will be where it moves. And if that default value is 000, that means he'll move to the world origin. Because of this location should be in world location, world space. Obviously, we need to make these instance editable. Otherwise, we won't be able to set them. We won't put them into the input category because that would require us to bind them to something. And then we just need to do a finish, a finish task. And this one will be uh, have a success and a and a fail. So on move finished, we want it to succeed. On request failed, we want it to fail. If not, we'll get stuck inside this task. I mean this state, we'll get stuck in this state. That's pretty much it, not difficult. Uh, so back over here on the bench, we want to set this to move to actor or location. And so we want to set the actual lo uh, location. We want to set the location in this case, and we want to set, uh, set the location to this right here. And so 
go here, find slot insurance location, entry transform, translation. And that gets the location off of this transform. Now for this one, we're, go we're actually going to want a, uh, a missing transition. And let's actually create a, another child state and we will call this uh, uh, entrance or entry entry one and we'll put, put this under the entry one and we'll probably have an enter condition for this later so now we want a transition and we want on state completed or uh, on state succeeded actually we want it to move to the next state it doesn't need a condition, but you can have conditions if you need. And if it failed, we want the tree to fail. For now. Later on, we might just say uh, return to root. But for now, we want it, the entire tree to fail for testing purposes. Fail to resolve transition. There's no selectable next state. Oh, right. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another state here. Let's put it under here. Move this back up here because we want this to be executed first. Now right here, we can actually uh, set this to group because this does not have any, we don't need any tasks to be executed on this. So we're gonna set this to a group. So now with this right here, we can add a task here and we're going to collapse that, collapse that, and set play contextual anim. And this is what we'll be setting up. So the primary actor is going to be the smart object actor. So we're going to bind it to that. The secondary actor is a, a required input binding as well. That's going to be the context actor class which is the player that's interacting with it. And for this, we'll have to set this up, uh, the rest of this up after we set up our contextual animation. But we can uh, go ahead and set this up. So it's gonna require a parameter. So go ahead and add a parameter and we're going to set it of, we're gonna make it of type contextual anim scene asset, object reference. And we're going to uh, I'm just going to name it context anim. That's going to be the reference to the contextual animation that we set up in the next one. And so compile it now and there shouldn't be any errors. So uh, it, it is giving us a warning that it, we're missing a transition, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually name these. Let's say uh, move to inch entrance. And we'll name this one uh, intro. All right, so that's the setup for this one. In the next one, we're going to create the contextual animation scene and set that up. And I will see you in the next video.